1964, I guess is when I started playing uh, officially. I was up at Newport Folk Festival in, uh, in the Navy, but I went to Newport Folk Festival to see Bob Dylan and John Baez and Tom Rush and fell in love with it. And uh, went back to my ship and learned how to start learning how to play the guitar and the rest is history. Neil Young would be my favorite association, and Dolly Parton as far as uh, sessions go in Nashville. I think it was called Old Ways was uh, Neil's album. It was a country album that he did. I can't remember what year. And then uh, Dolly, I played on two or three of her albums and worked with her in, in a couple of the movies she's done over the years. And they're my faves, for sure. They're just great folks. Different kinds of people, but really cool folks. Love them. The house concerts have been, I guess I've been doing about 11 years, 12, 11 or 12 years. They've been pretty popular for the last 20, 25. But it don't you mess around. Yeah, but down in the sun and land. But it don't you mess around. I like the intimacy of the of the size of the room as a rule, and I love the I love meeting folks, and and the money's pretty darn good compared to what it used to be in bars and, and so in clubs and so on. So, uh, all in all, I just I just think it's more fun, way more fun than playing clubs and bars. I swear, it's just it's just uh, marvelous to be able to just be toe to toe with folks and and, uh, and get to know them. You know, you don't disappear out the back room and out with your bus or whatever and disappear from the venue. You usually hang around a day or two. So it's sort of a uh, paid vacation when you get down to it. So. You know she ain't a fancy girl Just a good time lady Lord, she's funky, she's funky, she's crazy Reason for the song And she's living in another world Everything is lazy Well, the, the key is writing songs. If you're not writing songs, you haven't got much of a chance in, in Nashville anymore, for sure. Uh, because the record labels and the publishing companies are all tied together. Uh, and they want, the record companies want a piece of the action, and the, the big, another piece of the action, and that biggest other piece is the publishing. Uh, of the songs. So I would suggest come to town with a bunch of songs and be ready to throw away about 99% of them and you'll have, you know, odds are you'll have a, a, a good song in there somewhere, but that's your key in is being a good songwriter. An awful lot of my friends have had some real, real trauma. Uh, flooding in clubs, people that I that I know that own some clubs, uh, and studio instrument rental places and storage places and everything are all underwater. It's really a tragedy. And then, of course, to be down at the Gulf Coast where I live now is, is uh, everybody's on pins and needles. I don't know what will transpire with that as that oil slick does whatever it's bound to do at some point. Uh, yep, worried about it. Probably everything, I don't know, it just, uh, 
it has to be, I mean, I can't, I shouldn't answer any other way than that. It's, it's everything, it really, it's, uh, it's opened so many doors uh, spiritually and, and just literally all over the world. And I, I don't know what I would have done without it. And, and I grew up in it, uh, different genre, different styles of music. My dad was a jazz uh, swing band kind of guy. But uh, it's ingrained in me, I'll tell you, it's, it's, it's all I know how to do, really. And folks seem to like it, so I'm, I'll continue on with it, you know. Uh, but it's the, it's the uh, universal language, that's the cliche response. And uh, for me, and just, it's my heart and soul. You say, listen. Too late for the learning Made of sand Made of sand And in the wink of an eye My soul is turning In your hand In your hand Are you going behind Could have loved you better I didn't mean to be unkind That was the last thing on my mind 